in this video and this section we're going to be working with video and we'll be looking at the timeline and how to do animation on the timeline and animation here's our timeline and animation using frame by frame animation let me just adjust our window here there we go so the first thing we have to do of course is to get video in here inside of Photoshop and they can either bring that the video in as individual frames which is the best way to go if you want to be doing any actual video editing or you can bring the video in as a video layer and we'll look at that second so let's take a look at this let's go up here to video and import video frames to layers there we go let's click on that and give it a second to bring up our dialog box there we go let's just take a look at this fish video in here actually that one is how long that's five seconds that's actually better real short but a little more useful we'll use this one for the video layer we'll use this one for this import choose open now this brings up the video dialog box we've already looked at this of course previously this is a bit of a review but you can choose to go from beginning to end or a selected range only and you can limit to every number of frames you can kind of skip frame if you want here and you can make a frame animation we want to have that selected in there now I'm going to just cut this down a little bit we'll start right there let's come down to the end here there we go and there's that imported video notice that each one of the frames comes in as a separate frame down here in the timeline you can actually scroll through and see all of those video frames on the timeline once you're down here in the timeline we can play this video and you see how that looks there we go it's going to automatically repeat I'm going to pull the timeline up to make it a little easier to see all of our controls in here we'll just kind of float that on top of everything else and let me hide that measurement log there there we go so I'll be able to show the bottom here a little easier so you can go back to the beginning and step back frame at a time like this or it can go clear to the beginning of the frame like that using those two options we can skip forward frame at a time and of course we can play the video we can come in and tween videos we'll be talking about this when we get into doing animation from a frame animation we'll talk about that at that point and we can control our looping here once three times forever or just off screen let me just see if I can pull that up so you can see that put in any number of loops that you want to on this and down over here we can convert the video to you know convert to video timeline if you want to and a few more options here on the right hand side just take a look at those there we go you can add frames and delete frames you can copy frames you can select all of your frames the go to is just go to next previous and so forth that's the same as our controls right there our button controls we'll look at tweening reversing optimize the animation you can flatten your frames into layers if you want to match layer across frames create new layer for each new frame and convert to video timeline plus little panels option we can adjust the options there as we've seen for other panels as well so there you go there's our import and we brought that into our video timeline down here one last thing to take a quick peek at let's look at our layers over here I just want to point out of course that all of these frames come in as individual layers inside of the layers panel and the frames are played from bottom to top in the animation so if I put in a new frame right here that would then show up in my animation as a new section so if you wanted to, to pause the video for a second and put something in here like a, a credit card or something simply add some frames in here some layers in here that would be the same thing as adding in frames over here okay so that is the import of our video Let's go back to our beginning frame there we go that's the import of the video it's sitting on our timeline let's now move on to the next video and we'll take a look at bringing in a video layer so then we'll have the two different ways of bringing video into Photoshop covered.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.